just one other little thing. Now, you've got to forgive me for uh, indulging myself and showing off Alma, my 1959 Cresta. Uh, thank you for indulging me. But there is actually uh, an important point to this. A lot of people have been talking about silver, chrome, what should go around the models, etc., at 143rd scale. Look at the chrome or the metal trim on this windscreen here. It's incredibly thin. People always think that chrome on cars was immensely thick, etc. Around the screen, it's very, very thin, and that would be true of most cars. If you try and scale that down to 143rd, as I've said before, you'd end up with something no thicker than a cat's whisker. But there we are. The argument will go on. Personally, I'm perfectly happy with silver trim as opposed to chrome inlays, etc. I don't think the chrome inlays work. That's my personal opinion. Of course, you'll, you'll differ from that, but there we go. That's the whole point about reviewing and model collecting. Everybody's got their own opinions. Brilliant. I shall see you later.